amazing uh, we got to put the coaches on the back of the plane you know, <laughs> you know um, and they let us sit at the front take up all the seats so um, and I was able to sleep on the plane get some rest I started walking around talking on the phone uh, and just <laughs> just landing here has been amazing man the people has been very very um, very open to us being here and um, yeah, I'm excited man we get to play Miami Dolphins in Germany, uh, internationally, bringing the game over here for more pub. I think it's been amazing. And, uh, I'm looking forward to Sunday. Oh yeah, um, I'd agree. I'd agree with Chris. Um, it's been really special coming out here. I love the atmosphere, all the energy that's um, over here, and um, we get to be in this, you know, this world class facility that you know they're able to partner up with to let us come and uh, get our work done here and get ready to play a game on Sunday. Uh, I got to play an international game before, and these games are always so unique because, you know, this crowd's cheering for both sides at the same time, random jerseys, you might see Baltimore jerseys or whatever, just in the stand. So it's a unique experience, and we're glad to be a part of it. Yeah, I'm very excited. Like Chris said, we had a really nice plane set up, right. so I think a lot of us got uh, some good sleep. But I did some research on the stadium we're playing in. 2006 FIFA World Cup was there, and looking at all the teams, you see David Beckham played there, you know, Ronaldo. Uh, probably Ronaldinho, just a, a lot of top soccer players and growing up a, as a soccer player uh, makes me pretty excited. Well that just got me fired up. Uh, <laughs> no, I, um, I'm with them and I think there's been a lot of talk, you were talking about kind of the rest and getting out here and uh, there's been a lot of talk about us coming out here later and maybe not having that uh, time to acclimate and everything and um, I'll be the one to say that we got a team that we're ready to, we're ready to roll anytime, anywhere, yeah, whether like it's in the parking lot whether it's on some nice grass or a mud field, we don't care, man. We're, we're, it's, it's all mental for us, and we're ready to rock and roll. Yes, sir. I wonder what he could be about. Uh oh. So it's probably difficult to agree on most people who is the best uh, NFL team currently, but I'm sure the most would agree that New Heights is the best NFL podcast. Okay. okay. Hey. 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 Everyone in conjunction say aye. Aye. Close enough. Will there be international version from you know what we um we definitely wanted to to tie that in uh, next week being our bye week we were thinking about maybe you know coming out here and having some fun that, because the the game came out here but um, that's just a lot of travel during a during during a gruesome season um, but I appreciate you asking that and it's definitely being talked about over here and, and do some stuff internationally with New Heights and me and my brother but uh, if we do I'm down. Um, I think that, uh, you know, it's uh, it, looking back on everything um, in previous years, I kind of just was talking for the most part on how I felt at the moment um, and letting things run. And, uh, you know, I, I stand by that this team has every piece that it needs to be great. You know, everybody can talk about whatever they want to talk about. That's our weakness. Um, I know that we got a team that could put points up. And I know we got the coaches to be able to put us in the great position to succeed. And, um, and that's where we're moving going forward. Uh, and I, it just takes guys to, to lock in and just be ready for those big-time moments uh, when we need them most. Aaron, go, uh, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Chris, I just wanted to ask you Sorry. about there's a lot of hoopla on an international game, right? There's a lot of media here. How, how do you just still put the focus on this, this pretty big game? Most importantly, we come here to play. Um, like Trav said earlier, we only come here for one reason, and that's to play football. Um, Coach Reed got a plan. We, we've been through this. We got in today, um, practice. He had a heck of a setup, 
And uh, most importantly, we're here to win a football game, uh, whether it's today, tomorrow, or Sunday. So um, I think that's a way to eliminate distractions and um, keep us focused on why we're here. Yeah. Uh, Travis, just following up, what, what would you attribute the Focus, I mean, I've, I've, I've dropped a lot of footballs in my day, and it's unfortunate, but, um, you know, you can tribute, tribute it to whatever you want. I like to take it right here and put it on me um, to be able to focus and lock in and, and be able to make those plays. I think that, you know, having that leadership when I first came into the building um, and, and hearing Coach Reed talk about, you know, what how guys uh, are, are – you know, what's the what's the recipe for a drop? You know, focus, you know, balance, you know, uh, you know, just there, there's a lot of different things that could go on. Um, but I like to just put it on me and just say that focus, my focus uh, is, is everything. And I think, you know, that kind of leadership, when you hear Coach Reed talk about it um, around in the locker room and just when whenever we're, you know, review, reviewing like film and practice film and game film, uh, everyone kind of falls in line and puts it on themselves. Um, you know, Tariq is, uh, he's a fun, he's a funny guy, man. He's a fun guy. He likes to, you know, say, say his piece. He's always been like that, even just playing basketball in the locker room in Kansas City, you know, and, uh, and I've seen him lose a lot of those games. So <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll leave it at that and know that, uh, that he's going to get a team that's ready to fight and ready to, you know, go all four quarters or if it has to go into OT, then it has to go. But, um, I know we're ready and we're prepared and it's going to be a heck of a game for everybody watching here in Germany. I don't know what business he's talking about, honestly. Like, it, listen, man, we still got to get into play. It's, um, as much as I love Tariq, you know, um, sometimes we just talk a lot. We just talk, <laughs> man. We just talk, talk, talk. But um, I, I understand. I understand, you know, um, he want to route his crowd up, and I'll support it. Um, but the end of the day when the pads come on and the, those lights on and we still got to line up and play, right? Yes, so we're looking forward to it. Andreas, the NFL broadcasters are showing a lot of stats of how you've been, been better when Taylor Swift has been in the standing. Yeah. Is that a coincidence or do you actually feel like a better Wait, player? Um, I think it's I think it's pretty much a coincidence. I've had some uh, pretty big games in my in my career. Um, so, yeah, I think it's a, it's a bit of a coincidence for sure. In the back. A question for Travis. Um, last week, obviously, wasn't the game you planned to play against the Broncos. So, what do you have to uh, make better against the Dolphins this week, uh, especially on the offensive side? Yeah, I think if you watch that game, uh, there's a lot of turnovers, and um, the statistics for uh, when you turn the ball over, um, they're not very high on winning. So, the biggest thing for us is being able to control those turnovers, uh, being able to control the drop passes. Um, there's a few missed assignments, and I take accountability in all this. And, uh, and and I think everybody in that uh, that that locker room on the offensive side is taking that same approach this week. Right here, sir. Uh, I wanted to ask Chris about the importance of togetherness in this team. It feels like a team that supports one another. Not only does it have fun on and off the field as well, but it takes accountability, like Charlie <coughs> said. I wanted to ask how close knit is this group, and how important is that for prolonged success within this organization? I think it's important, very very important, to make sure that. Um, we win together, we lose together, right? And um, I think it's significant, uh, especially when you face adversity, that you guys come together even more. Because to let them know that you're not alone, you know. Um, just because you drop a pass or drop a touchdown doesn't mean it costs us the game. Maybe I missed a tackle. Maybe I missed a sack in a critical moment, which we, if we could have got it, then we could have got off the field, you know, not put the offense in that position. So I think it's more so... Um, <clears throat> It's understanding and leadership, holding each one accountable, and making sure we support each other through adversity. All right, we only have time for a couple more, so just work with me right here, sir. Uh, first of all, congrats to uh, Travis on the podcast. That's crazy, the amount of people that listen to it here. That's crazy, uh, man. I want to know from you guys, if you could pick two active NFL players, any of them, and put them together for them to do a podcast, who would you pick that in this case? Two active NFL players. Me and Travis Kelsey. <laughs> we'll go crazy, right? <laughs> Sorry, brother. Harrison, uh, I always wonder how you do it. It can happen that you 
your hand throughout the entire game. And then the last second, your people decide the game. How do you manage to stay focused? Yeah, that's a good question. I try to make every kick a big kick. So whether that's a practice kick or a first quarter extra point, if I can treat those kicks like they're big kicks and when I do get to that field goal that might make the difference in a game, it's a routine kick that I'm used to. But it's never easy. But the more pressure I can put on myself, then when I finally do get to that big pressure-packed moment, everyone's like, man, how does he go out there and do it? Well, I'm, I'm used to that. Uh, from practice, but it's uh, it's a blessing to be able to to play along these along these guys and on this stage and be able to go out there and, and do what I love. Harry, um, Harrison, uh, do you still follow fo uh, soccer? We call soccer, and do you have a favorite team or player, maybe even from Germany? I don't follow soccer really anymore. Football, American football, has become my favorite sport. But I, I fell in love with soccer. I think it was 2004 Champions League. Uh, AC Milan and Liverpool, they went to penalty kicks. And back in the day, it was hard to watch soccer games, you know, unless it was a big game on ESPN, you, you didn't really watch. So I uh, fell in love with Liverpool, became a, a Gerard fan. But, you know, obviously uh, Bayern Munich's a, a great a great team. And, uh, okay, I've forgotten some of the players, but the I think center midfielder that played at Chelsea, he was uh, a yeah, Bob. Yeah, I loved him. Yeah, he was great. He had the Adidas Predators on. Uh, loved him. In the back. Uh, Harrison, who's the, the GOAT at soccer? Is it Messi or Ronaldo? I am a Ronaldo fan. Oh, yeah, get out of here. <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> Messi, baby. Yes, ma'am. Travis. Hi. So, I'm a tight end. I play tackle football and I play flag football. So, yeah. what advice would you give to all the tight ends all over the world? Man, that's a great question. Um, well, shout out to the tight ends. Much love. Uh, it's the funnest position in the in the yeah. entire game. Uh, quarterback, you got to worry about too much. NFL or the uh, tight end room, you get to you get to kind of play free and uh, have some fun with it. And I think that's the biggest thing is uh, for me, it's just being in tune with everything because you get to you get to run, you get to run block, you get to pass block, you get to both get the ball, go and catch the ball, and you get to do so many different things. It's like you're the uh, you're the uh, home utility guy or the home utility girl. You know, if you need a plumber, I got you. If you need an electrician, I got you. You know, I'm I'm the anything you need, coach. And, uh, and with that comes the ability. You know, you got to be able to relate to everybody on the field. So uh, make sure you're having fun every day you come into it. Got three more. Start right here, man. Yeah, I was waiting for the last moment because I was wondering how many people would ask something about Taylor Swift. So let's see who's be the one at the end of the press conference. So what's uh -oh. the latest status and are you in love? What is the latest status? Oh, we um, spice it up. Um, the latest status is I got to see her last week. That's the latest status right there. Um, I'm gonna keep my personal relationship personal. <laughs> Um, I think it's a little bit of both. I mean, you never get a chance to, it's not like football is going to happen organically. So plays happen and you have a chance that he has the ball already in his hand, you corral him. If you have a chance to leave a mark, then you try and leave a mark. Everything legally, nothing um, malicious. It's just the way that football is played. And I'm a physical guy, so I plan on being a physical player. We played each other three times now, so I know him a little bit. He knows me a little bit. And we're going to have another good one on Sunday. <laughs> This will be yeah. This will be the third one right here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, on both of them, from the offensive side and the defensive side, how do you keep the young guys focused? There's a lot of stuff. Going on. I mean, you can say young guys, old guys. I'm excited. I um, I, I, every single time we've gotten on a bus ride already, I'm out here just peeking out the windows, just like, oh man, this is what this place looks like. And it's uh, you know, there's nothing wrong with being excited and being happy and you know, being in a new environment. Um, I think that's you know the fun in which the NFL has given us this opportunity to come out of here and. And, and perform and um, with that I, I, I do believe that you know coach Reed um, has been through this once or twice so his his game plan is how he scheduled schedules things out how he you know goes about the the practice schedules and um, you know goes about when, what time we come out here and everything you could put full trust into that because it's worked before and with that um, the leadership and just guys being uh, here for the right reasons you know I, we had a tough week last week, so everybody's here ready to win a football game, man. Okay, last one. 
You know what? I think when I when I mention or everybody knows that she's at the game, the Vegas, uh, the you know what I mean, like the the over under on my catches kind of goes up and down. The the spread goes up and down. So you know I don't want to mess with any of that stuff. So I'm just gonna keep it to myself. Thanks guys. Thank you. Thanks everybody. Thank Have a good one, guys.